Warning, sarcastic commentary, spontaneous references, and random theories ahead. Watch at your own risk. Hello everybody, this is Discombobulate Gamer, and welcome back to part two of Stories Untold. Four stories, one nightmare. Um, so hopefully you guys checked out the last episode, which was the House of Andon, which was really creepy. It kind of scared my pants off a little bit. It wasn't, it didn't, let me, let me clarify, it really wasn't scary, but it was very tense. Um, if you haven't seen it, I'd recommend going back and watching it or playing it for yourself. It's a really, it's really, really fun. I wish more horror games were done kind of like that. It makes you think. It's really, really fun. It's one of those games that I had a lot of fun recording and playing, but I think I'm going to have more fun when I find, like, when I get some of my friends to play it who haven't played it before. Um, that's going to be really, really fun. But anyways, I'm really excited to jump back into episode two, The Lab Conduct. So something I do have to mention before jumping into this episode is that there is a photosensitive epilepsy warning for this game, Stories Untold, and so I do want to make sure everybody's aware going into this. Um, please be careful if you have epilepsy. Um, skip this video. Skip The House Abandoned. Well, actually, The House Abandoned didn't really have anything, um, but and this one may not have anything either, but just be aware we really don't want to have anybody have seizures. That would be a really, really bad way to spend your day. So let's jump into the lab conduct. I am super excited to jump in and see what's going on with this one. Look around, go to, and open commands are your friends. Use them often. Okay, so maybe they're all text-based. Maybe it wasn't just the house abandoned. Okay, come on, game. Please load. And I also am aware that on my recording, there's a little bit of a lag between the graphics and... Oh, here it goes. It works. But anyways, there's a lag between the graphics and my talking. I apologize, that's just meant, that's because my computer is not, <laughs> not a gaming computer, as I've mentioned in many of these um, Let's Plays, and while I'm really thankful for it, and I'm super excited to be able to share Let's Plays with you guys, at least until I get a better computer that is more suited for um, gaming, this is what I'm working with. But also, I just noticed, like, the tape player, I expected it to say the lab conduct, and instead it still said the house abandoned. So anyways, we're jumping into this. I love the theme music. I love the intro. It's very, makes you feel like you're jumping into like a, a scary TV show. Um, okay, we're in a lab. Subject 12, 19, 86, 23, new session. 1986, okay. We have myself, Dr. Alexander Leading, assisted by Dr. Williams, and in the lab itself, our volunteer, Mr. Asian. We guess that's me. In the chamber, Am I Mr. Asian? At a moment it appears inert, showing no signs of activity. Oh, is this an alien one? Instructions for each stage will come through to your terminal, and we need you to follow them exactly. Now, some of this may be unfamiliar, so always reference the manual on your terminal for guides on calibration and procedure. Once you've calibrated equipment to match our brief, the green light will flash, allowing you to trigger the experiment. Okay. One last thing. Ensure that any equipment non essential to the current experiment is switched off. You cannot proceed until your calibration matches ours. Simple enough? When you're ready, let's bring this back. Okay. Experiment 01 Internal Analysis. Subject J1986 1986 slash uh, dash NEM is enclosed in solid outer layers. X-ray the artifact to determine its internal structure. Okay, let's look at the manual. Okay. Um, we want to do an X-ray. Well, I'm going to look at safety instructions first. Use safety goggles and gloves at all times. Do not leave the container unattended during experimentation. It's extremely dangerous to handle any items within the container. Please ensure your next of kin is updated at HR. As for your agreement... Uh, follow all instructions exactly. Great! This is gonna be great! This is great, so I have to x-ray, but do I have help? Press the keys bracketed in the top menu. Okay, duh. Okay, tab to roll over to the test chamber. Okay. So anything about... Okay, let's see, x-ray. So, camera, monitor, set to x-ray, charge, CC86, x-ray device. Okay, let's try this. 
Okay, there's a lot of equipment here. All right, so I think they said the CC86. I've got to turn the TV on. They said, oh, th there we go. X-ray? Did they say I had to turn, what? okay, what am I missing? Oh, that's not flashing. So let's go back and see what I'm missing, hang on. Camera, oh, the camera. Let's see here, where's the camera? Is that the camera? There we go. Okay. I'm sorry, guys, that it's so blurry and kind of choppy. Once again, dealing with the computer that... Okay. Good work. Yeah, okay. Now. No what is that? Damage to the surrounding organic material. Uh, no signs of activity either. I'm or assuming it's an alien. Flatlined. Okay. Let's begin. Okay. Experiment complete. Experiment 02, surface reaction attempt. Demonstrate the effects of laser life on the object. Try using a low powered red laser to begin with. All right, laser. Okay, required apparatus, LZR. Okay, laser two, light generator. Monitor set to RGB, RGBiv, I'm guessing red is 650. All right, let's try this. Okay, so I need to turn this off. Laser. Come on, you gotta turn on. There we go. 650. Uh, that's not right. Where's the laser? Oh! That looks like a heart. I was assuming we were experimenting on an alien, but I don't know. Why is there a random heart in here? And wh why are we lasering it? I mean, I understand. Lasering hearts is actually a common medical procedure. Try higher frequency. Higher frequency. Let's see here. Increase the laser energy. Use the green laser. I, I just have a bad feeling about this. 510. Okay. Alright. 510. Zero. But I will say this, like, this is so cool because, oh, come on. I thought it clicked you. It's so cool because the first game was, like, horror. And this is horror, too, but it's a different, almost a different genre of horror, even though I know that okay, horror itself is a genre. Of some sort here, a weak signal. Let's keep going. Okay. Again. Yeah, because that won't backfire at all. Okay, surface reaction attempt, okay, blue laser. Let's find out what number we need for blue. 455, all right, let's see. 455, because this won't be bad at all. Nothing's gonna come and kill me. I mean, I guess that's why we, that is moving. Is this like a Frankenstein thing? Why are we restarting a heart? Like, I mean, without, like, a, a, a heart. How is that even working? How is that even working? How can you restart a heart with it not being connected to anything? Okay. Test the acoustic resonance properties of the object. Begin with generating 250 hertz sine wave with amplifier gain set to 1. 250 sine wave amplifier set to 1. Okay. Alright, let's try it. So I need this off. I'm pretty sure this is what I need. Okay, so I can. Oh, it hurts. Come on. Why won't you let me? All right, maybe I'm missing something. Okay, I know what I'm doing wrong. So the amplifier is something different. So this needs to be at 250. 
This is gonna take forever. This is gonna take forever. I'm pretty sure it was 250. Now I'm double checking. And I gotta double check myself. Yeah. I'm gonna turn down the amplifier. Okay, I think that's one. That's hard to see. Alright, come on. Let's get to 250. We've got to shock this human or alien heart. I don't know what exactly it is. I'm going to still assume alien did say crash site. We are performing experiments on it. And to my knowledge, a human heart just can't do that. No, it kind of kind of needs some lungs. Kind of needs a spinal cord. Kind of needs a body. Maybe that's not supposed to be a heart, but it looks creepily like a heart. Come on. I wish I could just like type in 250. That would take a lot less time. Come on. I know, this is fascinating gameplay. You totally came here to see me just watch numbers tick up. Yay! Oh. There we go. All right, let's see here. I don't think anything changed. Okay. Okay. Increase the frequency to 500 hertz sine waves and amplifier gain to five. I can do that. Okay, so let's increase you to five. There we go. And to 500. I wish there was a much faster way to do this. So I don't know, like so far, I'm expect I know this is gonna get scary. Like House Abandoned started that way too. It wasn't really that scary. It was just kind of like, okay, I guess we're doing this. Um, and then all of a sudden it took a really, 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 really dark turn. And so I wonder if that's what's going to happen here. Come on, a little faster would be nice. This is taking forever. Sorry, guys. I'm not a very patient person. I'm not at all a patient person. I mean, I suppose it can be. But this is, like, driving me nuts. Oh, almost got it. There we go. Oh, it just, yeah, I was watching up here, it definitely changed a bit. Why am I, why is volunteer in, and not parentheses, in quotations? This, yeah, this is great. Let's speed through experiments and not care who gets hurt. Square wave. Maintaining frequency at 500 and gain at 5. Okay, that sounds easy. Oh, uh, wait, wait. There we go. That was an easy one to do. But I feel like bad things are going to happen. Come on. Oh, yeah. Bad things are definitely happening. We're losing lights. Seeing good activity on this side. Mm-hmm. Is that heart going to explode? I know this might seem uncomfortable or dangerous. You think? 
<laughs> I don't really have much of a choice, but I definitely don't trust you. Uh, a thousand? Okay. Once again. Waiting. Oh, okay. It seems to go faster the higher I go. Maybe? Uh. That object does not look happy. I feel like this is a very, 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 very bad idea. Oh, man. But I'm so curious what's going on. Like, I love this idea. Well, I mean, I love it. Like, okay, so the first one we had was kind of your typical horror, like, creepypasta, scary story. Oh, there's this video game you play. Um, but then this one is completely different. It's like, oh, your typical... It's not, it seems like it's an alien thing, but I don't know. It's really odd. But you're in a lab and you're experimenting with something you shouldn't be. Maybe it's a Frankenstein, Frankenstein's monster sort of situation. I don't know, but it's really cool. Like, yeah, it's literally. It seems it's like a, it's a collection of scary game, st scary stories that you play out in video game. Like that's awesome. We need more games like this. Come on. Come on. We're getting there. We're getting there. Come on. We're... Oh. You know, if they ask me to fill out one of those little surveys at the end of me being this volunteer for this experiment... You know, like those, uh, how did you feel during this experiment? Those kind of things. Definitely gonna tell them they need to put a number pad on this thing. Instead of just going up slowly. And I'll probably have a word with them about endangering me. That's not, not okay. I don't really like the fact that I had to have my, uh, Nexokin at HR. I get, I get it that I'm expendable. But really... No human should be expendable. Like, nobody's expendable. So, just because Mr. I I've got an accent guy who's talking to me, just because you probably wear a nice white lab coat doesn't mean that you're, that I'm less expendable than you are. Come on. Yay! That only took, like, forever. Please refer to the manual if you're having any difficulty calibrating the equipment. <sighs> Come on. No, I'm not having trouble calibrating. Uh, I mean, I am, but nothing that the manual will fix. Ah! Called it! Yeah! Yay! Full activity registry. We did Wait, is there something... Can you hear it? Something else here? You've made excellent progress. You're doing great. Were you asking if I could hear you? Or were you asking if that thing could hear you? I was going to attempt to alleviate some of this discomfort. That's an odd one. That's an odd way to describe what's going on here. The protective casing is off. Proceed to drill the sus surface. Yeah, because that's going to alleviate discomfort. Yeah. Okay, switch drill on. Okay. I could do that. So I've got to turn you off and I gotta turn you off and I gotta turn you on somehow there we go ah this is this is this is a smart idea let's drill into the substance that was inside what appeared to be a human heart that oh hello what was I saying bad idea you've made something upset how do I feel Haha, <laughs> sure you do. Take sure you do. And when you're ready, we'll continue. <laughs> Take a few moments, let's just get this thing done. Wait. Make contact with the artifact, open the test, cham test chamber. Are you freaking kidding me? I don't even get a last phone call. 
Am I on death row or something? Is that why I got chosen to do this thing that there's almost, like, it's definitely going to kill me? Oh. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, I think I have every reason to be a little bit afraid. Really? You're going to give me over to the alien? Time to remember. What? Do I have to click on you? <gasps> oh! That was lovely. Am I falling? Oh, I fell. I am bleeding. Why should I stay calm? You are slowly and methodically killing me. You just sacrificed me to the aliens. Okay. It can show you its memories. So we're trying to fit interesting. So we're trying to figure out Oh, that's fascinating. Okay. So they sacrificed me to the aliens basically. But because they can use my brain as sort of like uh an in between, a way of translating what the alien is thinking or remembering. That's an awesome idea. Oh, hello. I think this might be why we have the epilepsy warning. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I have to click and hold. Gotcha. Okay. What am I seeing? I don't know what I'm seeing there. Memory retrace, temporal interface, conversation. Oh, cool. So we, we're going back to the text-based stuff. Okay, you wake up in the cryopod. Struggling against gravity, you force yourself up. Impact into the planet's surface has torn a hole in the ship hole. Poisonous atmosphere spills into your craft. You are in grave danger. You have to get out of here. Look around. Oh, dude, I'm a pro at this one by now. Alright, the craft is broken beyond repair. There's wreckage all around. An airlock door is locked tight. And the computer terminal adjacent blinks. Look at terminal. The monitor blinks, demanding attention. The system looks usable. So let's try unlock door. The airlock is jammed shut and cannot be opened here. There is another way to open it. Oh, okay. So use terminal. This is awesome. I love this. You tap at the screen and the airlock door splutters to life, slowly opening with a horrendous noise. The ship powers down to silence, having spent the last of the reserves. Okay. Exit ship. This organ was taken from what we think was the leader. Okay. These memories are different, not like the others. There's more detail here. Let's take the clean in. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Okay, there's a person. Interesting. Okay, what am I seeing? Am I seeing first contact? You squeeze through the damaged airlock and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. You look around to see you are surrounded by mangled metal. 
bright lights pour through every gap in the surrounding wreckage. A crash site. Smoke billows from the downed ship. Exterior lights flicking on and off. Wreckage surrounds you. Looking upwards, you see unfamiliar star patterns. So I wonder, I wonder like, are there others? Was this the only one? Why did he crash? Action unavailable. Command not recognized. Let's try leave. Um. Get up. Okay. Um, exit. Crash. Okay, what do I do? Look at ship. There is no going home in this. The symbols and writing on the ship are barely visible anymore. Read writing. The writing shows partially shows the writing shows partially shows the name of the ship. Um to a copa. That these words will haunt you. I'm pretty sure that's Latin. I'm pretty sure that's Latin. I don't read Latin. I don't do anything with Latin. But I'm pretty sure, isn't culpa like guilt in Latin? Omni. Omni means like. Omni means all. Is it Latin or is it? Well, omni. Yeah, I don't know. Omni. Omnis to a culpa. It sounds like Latin to me. This is really weird. Okay. Look at crash. Why would an alien ship have potentially like a human language on the ship? Okay. Look at lights. The lights are blinding. You can make out silhouettes, but you will need to move some of the... Okay, that's what I need. Surrounding so wreckage for a better view. So move wreckage. With every ounce of your remaining strength, you move away enough of the wreckage for you to carefully crawl through. The lights that surround you now attack your senses. Okay. Look at lights. You squint at the light, trying to shield your vi visor lens at the same time. It is a circle of artificial lights set up around you to illuminate the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people, all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. Look around. Circle of artificial lights. Okay, I feel like this is the same thing. Yeah, this is the same thing. Sorry, I'm, I know I'm probably not talking a whole lot. I'm trying to figure this out. Like, this is an awesome way to tell an alien story. 
but I'm so thrown off by that by that writing. Okay, um, look at figure. The silhouette is bipedal and bulky. Some sort of mask covers its face. It beckons you to approach. Okay, approach figure. I feel like this is gonna this is back. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not surprised it's elevated. <laughs> How was I selected to be a chess subject? That's a really good question. All right, let's see what horrors you're gonna show me. There's the figure. Experimental science, Dr. Da David Ann Alexander, or Daniel. I couldn't tell if it was David or Daniel. Medical stuff, wires. So I'm guessing we were caught. We were ab absolutely captured and experiments awaken. All right, experiments done. We awake. The room is silent, only for the quiet hum of equipment and occasional machine beep. Your touch isn't yours. We are all as one. We move together in unison. Great. Look around. So we got a hive mind going on. We are in a bed in a small and artificially lit room with a single door. There is some sort of writing pinned to the wall. Adjacent is a display monitor with wires that drape across the room and into our chest. They have tortured us. Dude, are you even reading this? They clearly have a hive mind. Okay. Look. Oops. At writing. Oh, I'm so into this right now. Stuck together are a series of flat sheets with symbols across them. Some sort of writing. Let me try this. Read writing. I don't think it's going to let me know. Oh. Symbols seemed, the chart says, seemed to indicate where on our body they had to cut. We have been butchered and maimed over and over. Ay, 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 this is, this is not good. Look at monitor. The screen didn't give anything away. Flashing symbols and what could be numbers in rhythm. I'm guessing, based on what I saw in that little flashback, that maybe this is a heart monitor? But it says into our chest. Remove. Oh, hang on. Look at wires. A series of wires leave the machine and run across to our chest. Attached in different places. We aren't sure if the black fluid is going in or coming out. Collective discomfort. Look at fluid. That's not good. The fluid looks thick and dark. We can feel a transfer but not which direction. Ay, 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 okay. Um, remove wires. <gasps> oh, is this happening? Awesome, we're helping the alien escape. This is awesome. Okay, I'm totally on the alien side at this point because they're sentient. They obviously have emotions and feelings and we are, and the humans here are torturing them, so let's help them out. Uh, we yank at the wires protruding from our chest. Together we all scream in pain. This action sets off an alarm echoing loudly down the adjacent corridor. Look around. Okay, we're in a bed 
in a small and artificially lit room that's all the same with a single door there is some sort of writing pinned to the wall adjacent is a display monitor with wires that drape across the room now dangling loose they have tortured us all right leave room yes go 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 Dude, you've already basically killed me. I might as well help somebody that you're also killing. Alright, let's see here. What are you going to show me? That looks like a hospital. Wait, is that the crash? A woman in a body bag. Was there a woman who was killed? Or do they look human? Obviously this isn't human, but I wonder if they look human. I don't know. But there's a woman. Through the, was she the leader? I don't know. Through the door, we find ourselves in an empty room with a device on the table. It looks familiar. They don't know how it works. But this, this host does. The door closes behind us and a lock clamps shut. We are alone together, okay? Um, look around. It is some sort of preparation room. There are markings on more sheets with a door and a window on one side. The door we came through has been locked shut. And the other door had an orange alarm light <laughs> above it. In the center of the room a table holding only a small device taken from your It's My R ship. Can I turn around? No, I can't. Okay. Um, all right. Read markings. Okay, I can't do that. Um, look at light. Can't do that. Okay, we have to look at the device, I'm guessing. Look at device. It was an access code terminal for a wide connection, allowing commanders to com commandeer other hosts. Only you, I, we have access to these codes. It's time to use them. Sorry, humanity. I'm helping the aliens. You kind of tortured them. What is that? We haven't seen that before. What are we doing? Okay. Okay. Dude, I'm not looking in the long run anymore. You've basically killed me. Oh, okay, so it's giving me the codes. Okay, this is going to be hard. This is really hard, okay. Okay, so that one was right. So now I'm looking for... Okay, I think I saw it. I need to check it one more time. This is so hard. Okay, I think it's... I think it's that one. No, I don't think it is. I think it's... This is so hard. Okay. Hang on. This is so hard. Okay. 
Okay, so I think that this has got to be this one, I think. Oh man, this sucks. I did it! This still sucks, okay. What's going on? What's going on? Hi. I helped you guys, right? I know I'm dead anyways, just, you know. Be nice if I could help you guys more. It'd be nice if you guys wouldn't kill me. Uh, I have to lean in. Don't kill me. Okay, so I'm part of them now. I'm part of them. Oh man, that was good. That was so cool about being like, that was so cool. And I really liked that it didn't go the typical alien route of like, oh, hey, the aliens are evil, let's kill them all. And instead it was like, oh, the humans are evil. And you're the random lab subject that gets to help the aliens. That was really cool. Um, that one really wasn't that scary. It was more interesting than scary. Like the house abandoned was way more scarier for me. Just because it was much more, um, much more in your head, if that makes any sense. But then again, I, I do realize that I have some lag on my computer because, as I mentioned, it's not the best for games. So the lab conduct may have been more intense on a computer that could better, better handle the graphics and everything. Um, but that was really cool. I really like that. I really like that. Oh, man, I love this game so far. I'm so excited. The station process, that looks like... That looks like it might be good too. It looks like another lab one. It looks like we also have a, com uh, a text version there too. This is so cool because it's combining like the old adventure style games like I mentioned in The House Abandoned with, which were only text with the modern graphics of today's games. It's so cool. I really love it. And then setting it against these typical horror um, backgrounds. This is awesome. I'm so excited. Um, I'm tending to, at least so far now, I'm only halfway through the game. I'm definitely leaning with some of the critiques that I saw about this, that this was one of the games that uh, was overlooked in 2017. Because I really didn't hear a whole lot about this game in 2017. But it's awesome so far. I really love this. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. If any of you know Latin, let me know in the comments. Let me know if that is Latin, that, those le words, um, those letters are the Latin, if I'm understanding that correctly. Um... This is so good. It's so weird, though, too, because, like, there's questions the house abandoned didn't answer. There's questions in the lab conduct that it didn't answer. Like, I'm really confused about why the alien spaceship has human writing on it. Or maybe it's not really human writing, but it's just that there's a human because of the way that the mind transfer information worked. I don't know. Maybe, like, it was just put into human writing, if that makes any sense. But this is really, really fun. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. Um, definitely let me know what you're thinking of it in the comments. And please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next episode. We will be back soon to tackle episode three, the station process. I'm really excited. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. And I will see you guys soon for episode three. Bye!